What's going on guys? On this episode of Jake's Chop Shop, we get the VL finally painted. So come with me, we're doing full inside and out paint job, all in this video, so check it out. Let's get into it. All right, guys, getting straight into it. It's Monday, new week. Let's get on with this paint job. So first point of call is I'm gonna do the engine bay and the door jams first off the bat. Now, I was gonna do the boot at the same time, but we'll probably separate that just because of the sheer amount of dust in the booth and I wanna get everything pretty good off the gun and my booth isn't leet. All right, so we'll do that, the, the boot separate, but first, what I'm gonna do, chuck some 1K GMH black on the jams in the bay and get to wet rubbing. All right, let's get this show on the road. So real quick, just to touch on this again, all the wet rubbing I've been doing is just by hand doing the blocks. It's just uh, 600 wet paper. So nothing special there, just in case you were curious. And the guide coat is just 1K GMH black. But all done, the bays are finally all um, rubbed down, jams are rubbed down. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the car outside and quickly give it a gurney, just in those areas, wash it off. Um, Grab a quick bite to eat, come back, and then put a little bit of um, just a blade putty in a few little pinholes around the place. Give those a sand, and we'll start getting in the booth. Ah, oh, big job already. You've got no fingers left. Alright, so guys, just like the yellow car, I'm going to pull on a little wild card on this one. So in the, um, in the plenum here, just to save time. And also I'm going to put a cover over this, um, a nice sleek one, just to hide that ugly area. What I'm going to do is, got some uh, stone guard here. I'm going to spray the stone guard in the plenum area so it has a nice textured, even surface. So I don't have to go crazy with the prep in here. Just saves a bit of time. Um, and then let that dry. And then uh, when we spray the body color, spray over the top of that, clear it. So it's just, um, you get away with murder, it's a little wild card. So let's get that. Fucking red hot. All right, I'll give you guys another quick little tech tip. So when you're masking your strut towers, um, I see a lot of people, they fuck up Masking around this edge here, right? It is hard when it's sitting in there, but what you want to do is take the nuts off of your um, your studs here, put a jack under the K-frame, jack it up a little bit. That lifts the um, the shock tower up. You can slide tape right underneath. 
Boom, perfect masking. So yeah. Alright guys, so we're in the booth, um, big day, I'm pretty fucked, but I want to get this done. So I've masked the car up, um, took a bit of time with that, I've even masked it to the floor, just because obviously I don't want to be polishing the bay or the jams or anything like that, so off the gun, here's what it is. Um, I've used a few, uh, a little bit of 1K spot, uh, spot primer to just go over all the rub throughs and anywhere I've put blade putty. Um, Gave that a quick little soft back pad, cleaned it up. Now ready to paint, so let's get it. Pretty excited to see how this car looks on a bigger area. So good start to the week. <laughs>
new day. It's Tuesday now. Um, late start. I think I got out of the shop last night at like 6 a.m. It's fucking terrible. Um, had some dramas with the engine bay, like I said. So what happened? Laying all the base of the, uh, the pinky colour. Last coat in the bay. I was getting a bit sloppy, getting a bit late. Um, put the lid on the gun. But put it on, on a bit of an angle so it wasn't really even sealing. Spraying the bay out, heaps of drops of base went all over the fucking engine bay. Um, had a bit of a meltdown, went and got a toasty and uh, rubbed the base back in all the drip areas and then finished that off, did the door frames. And by the time I had to put clear on, it was like 5 a.m. Um, so what time did I start yesterday? I started like fucking 9 o'clock and then 5 a.m., Big day. And then um, putting the clear on, again, just too tired. A little bit extra everywhere, and I've got a few runs in the engine bay, a few runs at the bottom of the jams, but yeah, no big deal. Here's what it is. So it looks like you guys might be getting a tutorial on how to fix runs. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, so now today, I wanna get inside the boot painted. So again, 600 wet rub. It's going to be a kind of a job, but I'm going to do all the sanding in the boot, get all that prepped up. Um, I also want to get inside the boot lid and inside the tops of the guards and the nose cone. So in these areas here, all painted up. So then I can start hanging all the panels um, towards the end of the week and then treat it as a closed door spray. So let's get into it. Quick update, um, just uh, wet rubbed all the door frames um, with the 600 wet rub. So obviously blackouts in the jams, blackouts in the door frames. So what I'm doing, I'm laying the, the doors actually upside down, um, masking them all up like so. So you get no dust around the place. And the reason I'm doing them upside down is because if I spray the faces that you see upside down, there's gonna be less dust in the air that's gonna fall on it. So that's another little quick tip. But let's get into it, let's get some colour on them and um, keep moving forward. All right, here we are. So I thought I'd just show you the bonnet before I chuck it in primer. So again, um, Remove that uh, support that we um, cut out, capped the end, put a bit of filler over that, sanded the inside of the bonnet um, around all the edges, seam sealer. So just ran my finger along here, boom. And also chucked a bit of seam sealer in all these gaps. And once I put a primer over it, sand it, we'll clean it up a little bit more. Um, that's the last thing for the body I gotta get in primer. So I get that in primer today, and then I'm gonna shoot out the rear spares. Grab a few bits and pieces, some door rubbers, because all the blackouts are done. So, happy days there. Inside of the boot, inside of the guards, grill, nose cone. So what that means is we can almost start getting ready to put the car together. So I'll prime the bonnet now, and um, then tonight I'm gonna spray, finish rubbing inside the boot, spray out inside the boot and uh, once that's done we can start putting all the panels back in the car and uh, very exciting so let's get it so i'm just going to touch on something else there was a few questions about guns and all that sort of stuff um what do I use? What's a good option? Blah, blah, blah. So anyway, I've got to just show you my primer gun. So it's just a, a GPI um, gun I picked up from the body shop. So pretty basic, or GRP, sorry. 
super basic. What has it got? 1.4 tip on it. Um, nothing special and it works killer. And you can pick one of those up, guys, I think for around about maybe 150 to $200 zone, around about that mark from the boys. So get one of those. And if you're at home or at the shop or whatever, that's perfect for your priming, your high fill, all that sort of stuff. I use all my priming and stuff with that gun and it's, um, I haven't had a drama. And even, if you remember, I even painted the yellow car with it. So it's uh, for the money, you don't have to spend the 700 on a primer gun or anything. That's killer. All right, so guys, um, exciting night. I think Luke's coming down and we're gonna finally put the doors back on the car. So first bit of reassembly we're gonna see. Um, in order to do that, done some running around today, got some door rubbers from rare spares, a few little bits and pieces. But what I'm gonna tackle first is all these latches and shit. Now, we've got a little bit of overspray on the back of a few of them, um, whatever. What I'm gonna do is Just chuck a bit of paint stripper on them. Let it sit. Because I find the paint stripper just cleans them up really nice and it, it sort of retains the anodized finish. So we'll clean these up and um, get those ready to chuck back in the doors. up. Even the paint stripper seems to take off all the oil and grease. Obviously, you just got to remember to re-lube all the latches up afterwards and sweet as. All right, guys, so we've just got the doors on the trestles. We're going to put the door rubbers on before they go on the car and put the latches in. And then uh, me and Luke are going to throw these doors on the car. Some progress. Yeah, I'm getting you going. No comment. <laughs> Here we are. This gets a bit spicy. guys so continue on with the boot um i've done some sanding bits and pieces and what i found with the boot there's a heap of really tiny pinholes not big enough to justify with the blade putty um and a little bit too many of them just to leave it and squint your eyes um so what i'm going to do is just on the boot floor the section you see i'm going to quickly put another coat of hs primer over it just to fill in a little bit more imperfections and then Give it another wet sand tomorrow and we should be where we need to be. So I've just quickly masked that up. I'm not going to blow the whole boot entirely, just the areas you see. Just make sure those are good. Um, also, in the meantime, just to have a bit of a break from that, I've put a few things together. So doors are on the car. Thanks to Luke for coming around and giving me a hand with that. Um, that's all looking cool. Uh, gapped up nicely. I've just thrown the guards on, the nose cone on, a few little bits and pieces around the engine bay. So... That's starting to look real nice. Went and bought a, a heap of these Aeroflow Allen key fasteners. They look pretty neat. So just M6 bolts. Um, red hot. Super happy with that. See how the color's looking. It's just fucking crazy nice. With all the black. 
I chucked the master cylinder in there just to, I just had to. Don't ask me why, just had to do it. Um, anyway, so I've left the runs and stuff in the bay. There's a few little runs around the place. Uh, everything I could still get to. I'll give a little bit of a wet sand and raz up before I um, chuck the running gear back in it. Also put the overflow back in, um, the fuel fitting. So a few bits and pieces done. Very happy. So last thing I got to do is chuck the bottom bottom guard bolts in and we'll be on. So blackouts are looking pretty sharp. Glad I went with the gloss black. I was going to go with the eggshell black, but wheels are gloss black. They're a bit dusty at the moment, but gloss black, gloss black, gloss black handles. Um, probably do the mirrors gloss black and I think it'll look real tidy. Um, yeah, red hot. So let's get this boot in primer and possibly call it a night. Straight away after that, I was a bit on the fence uh, before priming it. All day I've been thinking about this, by the way, like even though you might see in the video, boom, I say something. Sometimes there'll be a whole day that I'm thinking about whether I should do something or not. So anyway, the priming was like on the fence. Like did I spot primer and just fucking wet on wetter or something like that. But you know what? Now that I've laid the high fuel, I'm happy. I'm happy because straight away when I was laying that high fill on, I could sort of see that it was just filling up the holes, like just the, because we're not talking about big pinholes, we're just talking about little imperfections, and they, they sort of make the difference, in my opinion, in a boot. Like if you get everything in, in, a, in a boot or a bay, no, no pinholes, and then you get, it doesn't have to be a crazy good finish, it just has to be like a, a nice even finish all the way around, but it's just well executed overall, the, the finish is nice. So that's what I'm trying to get here. And just doing that, I can already see it's just probably put enough fill in there that would just a light rub. And because the prep was already at like 400 wet rub, the primer's laid on fucking real nice. So even tomorrow, even though I've technically gone two steps forward, one step back today, it's not a massive step back. You know what I mean? It's going to take half the time, if that, to get it back to where it was ready for paint. So happy with that. Um... Bonnet's in the booth. Tomorrow I'm gonna wet rub that, get that in paint. That way we've got all the hanging panels, the inners painted, ready to be put on the car. So yeah, just ticking things off slowly as I can get them done. Um, I'm gonna do that, paint the rear window surround, paint the door handles, and probably start having to play with the, the moldings tomorrow. So a few things to do there. Um, get that happening and fingers crossed honestly because i haven't put a block on the car yet so fuck i really hope that prime's good <laughs> that first uh all the body work so we're sort of relying on that but we'll see how we go So guys, um, finished uh, wet rubbing the bonnet. That's just in the booth. I'm putting a bit of heat on it at the moment just to get rid of the moisture in all the crevices. Um, the boots sprayed a bit of uh, guide coat over it. So gonna start rubbing that in a minute. But what I was thinking is I'm gonna prep up the these two panels here. Cause they're in pretty good nick. Like there's no real issues with them. So I'll be able to wet rub them and get them in the booth with the inside of the bonnet because I like to group as many things as I can at once when I'm painting so I can just save material because you're always going to lose a little bit of material in the gun, in the cup, whatever. So be a bit stingy with that. Anyway, this rear panel, it's um, the cover panel for inside the boot. There's a few pinholes and shit in it, all kinds of things. I rushed it when I did it the first time. Um, and it's a little bit wavy. So what I'm going to do is I've started with the block, um, some 180 on this. And I'm just going to use the clear that's on there as a primer. So if you've got a panel that's already got a 2K clear on it, there's nothing wrong 
with uh, instead of just orbitaling it with 80 grit and then starting your body work on top of it there's nothing wrong with using it as the clear on it to, to block and to try and get straight before you start you know what i mean because you might be able to straighten out a lot of the issues or to a point you're happy with without putting primer on it and then when you do put the primer on it it's just sort of acts as a sealer and it's just easier process so i'm going to start with the one and you go over it find any issues address them and then move forward so Hopefully the aim is today is I want to get the, the side panels painted, inside of the bonnet painted, inside of the boot, lid, uh, boot area painted today. Um, also I want to, I was going to do the rear window surrounds but I might need to find another set of door handles because mine were chrome and they're sort of like half flaking and that's going to be a big drama to get that off so I might see if I can find some others. Um, let's get into it, let's see how much we can get done. See here, we can see uh, highs and lows, and we might even be able to get them out. You know what I mean? So just continue with this. All right, these two are ready to go, guys. Boom, let's get at it. Also, quick tip, um, your clothes. So anytime you're spraying, even if it's at home, DIY shit, whatever. Um, a lot of the stuff, right, you get a lot of the dust that's in your job is from the job itself. So on the panel and all that sort of stuff. Um, so clean your panels, take a bit extra time. Also your clothes. Um, it's pretty affordable to grab a, like a cheap paint suit or something. Um, chuck one of those on because all the dust and everything, all the little fibers come off your clothes and, and go on the job. So if you can cut down those two variables, even if you're in the worst conditions or in the open, you're still gonna get less, less, less dust. So just a quick tip, let's get it. So, boots finally all rubbed down to what I'm happy with. Um, what I'm going to do next is on the, the underside of the parcel shelf and the far, the, uh, I don't even know what you call it, the wall between, I guess, the boot area and the cabin, um, the rear firewall, I guess, uh, and a bit around the, the sides, right up in the top corners behind the seat belts and stuff, and in my battery, battery areas, I'm going to do uh, a bit of stone guard first, right, and then I'm going to... I'm happy to paint over the stone guard after, like blow a bit of colour, blow, blow a bit of clear. But it's going to be an absolute pain in the ass to prep up all these areas. And that's where I'm going to draw the line. Like you don't really see right underneath. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mask all the boot with paper now. Except for the areas that I'm going to blow the uh, stone guard in. Just be pretty quick. Be generous with the paper. Maybe even put a few towels down, use them. Um, blow that in. Let it dry and then we're gonna go straight in the booth. And also I like to do my stone guard before I do color because what I think, I don't know if this is right or wrong, but my logic, if there's any dust sitting on the, underneath of the, um, 
the parcel shelf, say, and you're going to spray a boot. If you spray a coat of Stone Guard in and it seals everything up, right, it dries, even if you're painting over a little bit of dust with the Stone Guard, it's going to seal that in. You know what I mean? That dust isn't going to blow then when you put your base and your clear over the whole boot floor. So I feel like it's a, just a good way just to um, make your life a little bit easier. So let's do that. Whew. <laughs> Happy to have that done. All right, we'll do that first and then I'll do on the sides after. Finally time, um, I'm about to jump in the booth, lay some ground coat inside the boot. If I can get this done, it's late Friday, or well, it's actually Saturday morning now, but um, killer way to finish off the week. Let's get that done, and that's all the inside panels painted out, so let's hit it.
So I thought I'd just show you guys. This is actually the the pretty nifty little bulkhead fitting I run on the boot. So pretty nice little thing. Um, this is probably one of my favourite parts of the car, actually. I think this is pretty nifty. So this one just sits in here. And I've got my fuel lines, return. Um, going to this bad boy. So just a nice piece of piece of kit. I think Raceworks and Aeroflow sell these. Um, just to clean up your boot instead of having lines everywhere. So we'll chuck this in now and um, chuck the bulkhead in, chuck the fuel cell in and finally start to see what the boot's gonna look like together. Um, I've just polished up the, the center of the, uh, the hump in the boot. There was a few little dags on that. Clean that up. Um, just going along, assembling some stuff as I go, similar to the yellow car that I built. You know, as I go, I have a bit of a break from the bodywork, do a little bit of assembly. Um, and yeah, I think later on today, we'll start maybe getting on the block and getting ready for paint. So let's get into it. So boots all assembled now, happy with that, super over the moon. Um, next step is I'm gonna finish bolting up the front guards and um, and basically, yeah, start blocking the outside. So I start with running a, a bodywork guide coat over the whole car and I think I'm gonna start blocking it with 240 or maybe 180, we'll see how I feel when I, when I start blocking the car. And uh, We'll go from there, I'm excited. It's either gonna be really good or really bad, so let's get it. So obviously blocked the car, that's all done. And uh, what we just did is ran a tape line down the body line. So there's obviously a body line on the top of uh, all these panels. So me and Luke have just run a tape line below the body line, all the way one piece and just held it tight, put it on, had a look down the side. And uh, what we're gonna do is just straighten that out. Cause right now it's pretty straight, but it's a little bit, bit of how you going. So last thing we'll do before we put it in a primer sealer is Get this right, so I'll put another coat of guide coat along the top, block it down, and then flip the tape. So I put the tape on the top of the line, work up to the tape, and um, get that body line where we want, and then we're ready. So let's get it.
So the car's almost ready to go into primer now. Last thing I'm doing is just going over the car, having a quick look at it, finding any little tiny pinholes or imperfections, hitting those with some blade putty. Um, gonna sand them up with they dry, all the little red spots, uh, and then boom, let's get it in the booth. So almost there. So I'll just quickly touch on what I'm going to use as a final coat of primer. So obviously the car's blocked in 240 um, all over. So it's pretty, it's sort of smooth for a prime. Now what I'm going to do is go over it with the HS Body Shop Primer and I'm going to reduce this to 30%. Now what that's going to do is lay a real nice smooth coat of primer over the car. So it's not going to need an excessive amount of blocking or anything like that. Um, basically... Yeah, this is going to be the final stage and I'm going to do it probably two coats, enough to cover and give me something to wet rub. So once this is done, I'm also going to put a bit of rocket hardener in the primer because I've literally got probably eight hours. So I'm going to go from here, go home, have a nap, um, get back up like super early, come down here, wet rub the car. Because it's going to Chris's from CK Panels, paint panel. We're going to use his booth tomorrow to paint the car in. So tomorrow morning, first thing, a quick 600 wet rub um, over the primer. But obviously, the better it lays on, the smoother it is, the easier the job's going to be tomorrow. So this is really just going to be a nice sealer. It's going to take care of all the rub throughs um, where I've gone through the primer and hit the filler. Um, and boom, so let's do that. So again, like I said, uh, just a normal HS primer, normal hardener, but just reduced to about 30, 35%. So let's get it. Guys, it is D-Day, so it's Thursday now. It is about 6.30 in the morning. Um, I'm gonna pull the car out of the boot, slap a coat of just guide coat on the car. So I'm just gonna use 1K um, GMH Black, acrylic, dust it on there and get straight into wet rubbing this morning. So straight on with the 600 grit on a, a soft block, go over the whole car, Get it ready, wash it down because at 11.30, Toe King's coming down here to pick this car up and take it to Chris's booth. So we don't have much time. I'm pushing this morning, so big push. Let's see if we can get done. So no, no rest, no breaks, straight in the job. Let's do it.
the cooking, baby! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> Here's the face of CK Paint Panel. Don't worry about Big Schlacker. JB does all the work. Isn't that right? <laughs> and George is here to just for moral support. 100%. <laughs> All right, so obviously we're here now at um, CK Paint Panel down at Melrose Park. So. Car's been dropped off by Toe King. Um, we're gonna clean up the booth, roll it in, start masking it up. I'll uh, quickly show you what's going on in here. This. Yes, baby. Chris is going to do a drop coat now. Pretty much, he's been uh, guiding me through this paint job, giving me heaps of tips along the way, because uh, Jake and Metallic's not so good. <laughs> <laughs> but Chris is going to save the job. So far, it's pretty good, but... No, he's done a good job. We're just going to put a nice, even drop coat on it. There's no model, and all the Metallic's laid down the same. <laughs> 
Let's do it. Let's go. Yes, I should be wearing a spray suit on the boss. I don't get dirty on the gun much anymore. I'm outside fucking rubbing paddles like a fucking idiot. Guys, that's a wrap. Um, just finished off the clear. Fuck me, big day. Massive shout out to Chris here. Well, he's standing in the corner, but what is not on camera is halfway through this job, the whole job fucked up. Right? The whole thing's fucked. Look, he's laughing because he knows. But if it wasn't for Chris, I'd be repainting the car. I don't have time for that. So you can see. Anyway, so. That happened halfway through the job and the, the bit of paper landed in the, in the paint and Chris was there fishing it out with some masking, masking tape literally like sticking it in. I've never seen anything like it. I was thick losing it. And, uh, but it's all saved, so that's a wrap for the night. Thanks Chris. Thanks Sam for not participating. Um, Let's see what it looks like tomorrow. Brenny. He does good towing. Good towing. BD towing. There it is. It's right? It. Because he has no fucking decals on his truck. <laughs> Jesus. But no, he is good. Thank you, Brenny.
finally guys, it's all painted. So that's a wrap for this week's video. Um, wow, what a mission it's been, but we finally got there. All the colors on the car, apart from a few bits and pieces here and there. Um, big hustle. So it is actually Monday morning right now as I'm filming this. So I've got until Thursday night to get this car all back together, bar the trim. So crazy big week ahead of us. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, I'd like to thank a uh, big shout out to Toking, um, Chris from CK Paint Panel, Brenny from BD Towing, um, the boys at the body shop, uh, everybody that's come and been a part of this car so far, I can't thank you enough. Um, we've still got a massive job on our hands for the rest of the week. I've got so much stuff to do. Um, I'll show you. Bars, engine, parts. Poor, so much to do. So it'll be a pretty full on week this week and I'm gonna see what I can get covered. Um, there'll be another video out next weekend or possibly next Monday, I'm not sure, because on Friday morning, 4 a.m., we'll be going up to Canberra with the car to drop it, drop it off at Beck's place for the trim. So, um, and I think we'll be making a quick stop at uh, World Time Attack Challenge at Eastern Creek as well. So um, catch up with me there. Um, yeah, thank you. So click that like button, subscribe. I appreciate all the love. Uh, I'll be back soon. Thank you.